Michael Burry was dubbed the man who couldn't stop screaming fire for his early prediction of the disastrous 2008 financial crisis. When nearly every other investor was cheerleading the booming housing market, Burry saw the unsustainable surge in subprime mortgages and correctly called out that it would all come crashing down. And crash it did, triggering a recession that wiped out trillions in wealth. But while most remember Burry for that iconic call, few realize he may be ringing alarm bells once more. Through an extensive series of tweets dissecting economic indicators and historical market patterns, Burry has been raising concerns about more declines ahead. And in a move that echoes the size and conviction of his first controversial bet, Burry placed over $1.6 billion of his funds shorting stocks in what amounts to another huge wager against the direction of America's economy. They called him crazy last time, but Burry ended up with the last laugh. So what is he seeing now that has him placing over a billion dollars on the line again? Our story begins with Michael Burry, an unlikely Wall Street legend. Burry started his career not on Wall Street, but as a neurologist. However, his true passion was always investing and analyzing complex financial data. Born in 1971 in San Jose, California, Burry exhibited an uncanny affinity for numbers from a young age. This innate talent, combined with his relentless pursuit of knowledge, would ultimately propel him to great heights in the world of finance. Burry's educational journey began at UCLA, where he studied economics. It was during this time that his fascination with the financial markets truly began to take shape. He immersed himself in the works of legendary investors like Warren Buffett and Benjamin Graham, seeking to absorb their wisdom. After UCLA, Burry went on to earn his MD from Vanderbilt University School of Medicine. But even while practicing neurology, he found time to feed his obsession with investing. Night after night, Burry spent countless hours meticulously researching various opportunities, having an eye for uncovering hidden gems that others overlooked. In the early 2000s, Burry began closely examining the subprime mortgage market. He pored over loan documents, financial statements, and anything he could find to understand the inner workings of this shadowy lending sector. Through his meticulous research, Burry identified worrying trends. Subprime lenders were issuing risky loans to less qualified home buyers. The mortgage-backed securities being created from these loans were losing credit quality at an alarming rate. Armed with his discovery, Burry tried to warn the financial industry. But Wall Street wasn't interested in hearing his bearish analysis. The housing boom was in full swing, and any criticism was dismissed. Undaunted, Burry doubled down by purchasing credit default swaps, or CDs, as insurance against the impending housing crisis. This move was met with skepticism and even ridicule from the financial community, who failed to grasp the severity of the impending collapse. However, Burry remained resolute and convinced that he had uncovered a hidden truth that would soon reveal itself. Of course, as we all know now, Burry was proved devastatingly right. By 2007, the subprime market had imploded, sparking a recession the likes of which hadn't been seen in decades. As the crisis unraveled, Burry's bets on credit default swaps proved immensely profitable. His fund, Scion Capital, achieved outsized returns, netting over $100 million personally for Burry and $700 million for his investors. Burry's remarkable success and his ability to foresee one of the most significant financial crises in history elevated him to legendary status in the investment world. But that begs the question, 
with his knack for spotting financial storm clouds before they form, what warning signs is Michael Burry seeing now? What has led him to make yet another outsized bet going against the market? Burry's story gained widespread recognition through the best-selling book The Big Short by Michael Lewis as well as the subsequent movie adaptation. Both depicted the events leading up to the financial crisis as well as Burry's pivotal role in navigating the chaos. In the wake of such fame, Burry has continued actively sharing his views on finance over social media in recent years. While some predictions garner scrutiny, his uncanny ability to identify trends and risks before they materialize cannot be overlooked. Burry began 2022 by tweeting a single, ominous word, sell. However, two months later he declared, I was wrong to say sell, and congratulated investors who bought the subsequent dip in stocks. This abrupt reversal has left even Burry's most dedicated followers confused. Some took his admission at face value, praising Burry for owning his apparent mistake as major indices have rebounded up to 17% this year. However, others remain skeptical, believing his praise of the BTFD investors was said in sarcasm. And BTFD, in this case, means buy the fucking dip. To them, Burry appears unchanged in his bearish outlook due to worries over historic inflation, Fed tightening, and potential recession. It is uncertain whether Burry has truly abandoned his warning, or if he is keeping his interpretation of the markets to himself, as he usually does. Although trusted analysts have been wrong before, Burry's previous accuracy makes even the skeptics hesitant. His recent flip-flop on the matter leaves the question unanswered. We didn't have to ponder these questions for long, because Burry disclosed that he had invested over $1.6 billion in personal bets that directly shorted volatile stocks. Burry explained that during recent market crashes, the bottom of the S&P 500 index has been lower than the previous ones. He compared the bottom in 2020, which was 15% lower than the one in 2018, to historical lows from previous decades such as 2002, 1998, and the 1970s. Burry pointed out that a 15% drop from the 2020 low would bring the S&P 500 index to a value of 1,862, which is in line with the historical average price-to-earnings P.E. ratio of around 16. Burry's prediction simply implies a significant decline of over 50% from current market levels. He emphasized that short-term bounces, like the recent 6.5% market rebound, do not necessarily indicate a reversal of the overall downward trend. To support this notion, he referred to historical data citing examples of strong, short-term recoveries during major market downturns, such as the dot-com bubble and the 1929 crash. Burry noted the relatively low trading volumes during the current market downturn in 2022. He compared the trading volumes of companies such as Microsoft, Amazon, and JP Morgan during previous market downturns to the current situation. His analysis indicated that the selling volume has not yet reached significant levels, suggesting that there could be much larger declines in the stock market ahead. Burry has expressed concerns about the economy as a whole, not just the stock market. He is worried about inflation, rising interest rates, and how they will impact consumers. He has also highlighted the decrease in personal savings and the growth of revolving credit card debt, which could lead to a major consumer recession. He pointed out that declining savings and reduced consumer spending can negatively affect company bottom lines. Burry gave an example of Amazon's first quarter results, which showed slower revenue growth compared to previous periods. He interpreted this as a sign of weakening consumer demand. He also shared a chart that illustrates the declining percentage of personal savings as a portion of the U.S. GDP, indicating a shrinking economy. 
Now, despite this gloom prediction from Michael Burry, he has invested a significant portion of his personal wealth into a unique investment asset. In an interview with Bloomberg over a decade ago, Michael Burry revealed that he was investing a significant portion of his personal fortune into farmland. He expressed his belief that agricultural land with water resources on site would become highly valuable in the future, and he saw it as an alternative investment opportunity. While Burry is renowned for his bearish market calls, his significant personal investment in farmland provides an interesting counter-narrative. Despite recent forecasts of turmoil, he clearly sees value in this niche asset class as a stable, safe harbor. History shows that farmland delivers stable returns with low volatility, outperforming most asset classes through various economic cycles. Its value and income generation remain remarkably resilient, even in recessions or stagflationary periods. Farmland's independence from market sentiment is precisely why Burry finds it so appealing when markets appear perilous. People will always need to eat, so food production land retains value regardless of stock fluctuations or GDP growth rates. Commodities like corn or wheat may fall victim to price drops, but the land itself endures. Some see farmland as antiquated compared to flashy tech firms. However, Burry recognizes periods of unrest often drive capitalists towards tangible assets seen as shelters from stormy financial seas. Real estate, like farms, fits that mold, acting as a reliable safe harbor for wealth preservation when macro conditions sour. Most importantly, farmland continues generating rental income streams even as broader economies contract. For Burry, this steady revenue provides both a hedge against inflation and a cushion if markets falter, as he predicts. Unlike most investments, its income and value remain unfazed by recession dynamics. In unstable times, that stability is invaluable. By investing in farmland, Burry aims to secure large funds and safeguard them against economic downturns. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and consider watching our other videos right here.